Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa, if you're just joining me here. Today's a very casual video. It's gonna be very quick. Quick, what am I talking about? My videos are never quick. I did decide to pop these up right after unboxing and I did include that, so I will make chapters if you want to skip around. I was actually, today's like an editing day, so I'm not like put together or anything. I wasn't planning on filming today but the plant mail got delivered and I want to unbox it. I'm just peeling off my address label. I wasn't planning on buying more plants, but I think I was having like a stressful day or something. And I went onto Etsy, of course, and I was browsing. I was looking for alocasia and I couldn't get another plant out of my head. So, uh, I placed an order and I've never ordered from this et Etsy shop before. It's called the Green Escape. They have a sticker on the front of the box. The only thing was this took two weeks to get to me. I ordered this on March 31st and today is the 13th of April. So it took a while. I do remember seeing when I ordered though, they had they had something in their notes that said that, and it's still up, that they are currently running two to three business days behind due to extreme weather across the country. And they should be caught up by the end of next week. So they did give me a warning that they were running behind, but it's fine, like I'm patient. It's fine that it took two weeks. I feel like once they actually sent it out, it didn't take very long for me to get it. It came from Florida, which isn't far from me. It was sent out on the 11th, it looks like, from their mailing facility. And it came yesterday, which was the 12th. No, I'm sorry, it came today, which was the 13th. It arrived in Jacksonville yesterday on the 12th. So it only took two days to get to me from, by, from the time they actually shipped it. So I think they were just running behind and catching up on orders. So the Green Escape, they had a lot of reviews. I've never ordered from them before. I feel like it's a pretty big shop, I feel like. Yeah, they've had 210,000 sales. So I don't know, I've just never have seen their shop come up before. And I feel like the prices were pretty good on things. So I'll definitely order from them again because I feel like they had a really good selection. So I'll leave their Etsy shop linked down below too if you want to check them out. So that was just my only downfall was just the shipping. But I, and of course I haven't looked at the plants yet. But I do like, you know, like I said, going in that it would take a while. So I got three items in here and I paid a total of $72.71 for everything. I did get a shop discount of $7.55. Shipping was free. I didn't have to pay anything for shipping. And then sales tax was $4.76. So $72.71 free shipping. I thought that was a great deal for three plants. So I'm excited. Let me open. I've sort of been in like a funky mood today because of the whole soil drama that's going on. I guess that I created and I would honestly, I was just sharing my honest feedback and I never like intended for it to be the way that it is now. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not like bashing the company or anything. I'm not like slandering their name. I'm just like, I just don't like the soil mix. And they decided to unfollow me, which I mean, is what it is. I just feel like so many people have have the same issues that I was having and I just feel like, I don't know, I'm allowed to share my opinion on things, you know, but I'm over it. After today, I'm just gonna forget this ever happened. And for those that want to share and promote it and like it, then by all means, they can do what they wanna do. But you guys will see that I will no longer be using it, promoting it, or anything like that. All right, so we have packing slip, which has my address. And then they have a little thank you for supporting our shop little card. And it has plant care, 
on the back, so that's nice. That's cool. And then inside, ooh, that's what the packaging looks like inside. I think this will perk me up for today. It's been sitting, it came today, which is pretty, it's rainy today, but it's pretty like humid and warm here. My um, husband was doing something in the garage, so I, uh, I couldn't film for a little while. Oh, they're a lot smaller than I was thinking. All that's just packing paper. This is really small, you guys. I knew they were plugs, so I bought plugs, which are obviously like starter plants. But I was thinking they would have been a little bit bigger than this. That's okay. So this is our first one. They have their sticker here, and then they have the name of the plant written on the paper. So I don't know if this will be worth it or not. We'll see. I just saw the price and from the photos, of course the photos suck me in. The photos always look so much better than what you actually get sometimes, which is okay. Let me get my plant names out because I don't want to mess these up. I want to tell you what I got. Okay, so this one here is a variegated alocasia California. Ooh, it's really cute. So I've seen these like really big you know, in like huge pots, but this is like a cute little starter plug for, I don't know if you're just wanting like a baby to start out. The variegation is beautiful on that. Look at how cute. There's a half moon leaf here. Variegation looks really nice on every leaf. I hope that's focusing okay. And it's just wrapped in Soil, you can see the roots there. It's just kind of wrapped in some saran wrap there. Ah, I'm so excited. I've always wanted this alocasia. I've seen, I've always wanted one. And I feel like you can get like a pretty big size of these for, they're not super expensive. So I definitely could have waited and, you know, bought a bigger size. I don't know. I just saw the little ones and I wanted the little one. Oh making sure I don't see any pest. I think it's just a bunch of fallen dirt. That is so stinking cute. They leave you planting instructions. It says remove the saran wrap around the roots. Do not remove mesh lining if present. So that would be like a root plug. Place plants directly into soil mixture once received and water if soil pod is dry three to four inch pots are recommended. So they want me to go ahead and plant this like right away. Do not allow the plant to be exposed to drops in temperature below 45. Indirect sunlight only, direct sunlight will burn. Allow the plant to dry out between waterings. Once it has dried, please thoroughly soak the soil. Thirsty plants can exhibit, exhibit drooping leaves, curled leaves. If the plant is a colocasia, it should remain moist at all times. Humidity, 55% is preferred. Fertilizer, use fertilizers with the ratio of 12, 6, 8. And preferred soil is 70% soil, 20% perlite, and 10% bark. And it says these instructions are just suggestions and do not guarantee the survival of your plants. That's really nice that they include that. That is so cute. I'm gonna have to pop these up then, like pretty soon. I'm gonna probably have to do it today. It seems pretty moist in here, which is fine. I feel like if I waited another day, it'll be okay. I don't know if I feel like planting these today. That was the first one. Okay, second one, let's do 
this one. This one here is going to be a Mickey Mouse alocasia or xanthosoma albo marginata. Again, I don't know what was up with the variegated plants. I just, I don't know. I saw it. It looked cute. So this one here was, this one, was, oh, sorry. This one here, the one that I just opened was $32.50. And the Mickey Mouse alocasia, then it says, it says alocasia Mickey Mouse, and then in parentheses, Xanthosoma albo marginata. This one was only $18. This one's way smaller, like the plug. Oh yeah, that's a baby little plug. I'll have to plant these. Aww, it's one little leaf. That's, that is so cute. So that's what that looks like. You can see there's one main leaf and there's a tiny one here and it has a really small plug. So for these, this one has like a significant root, root like soil base here. So I would pop this into a four inch. This one is significantly less. So I would use a three inch for this one. And they recommend they said three to four inch. That is so cute. It kind of looks like the stingray allocation away. Look at that little baby leaf there. That is so cute. I'm obsessed with that. So again, this one was only $18, which I feel like for a variegated plant like this, if it'll, if it does well and grow well, like that's a good, that's a good price for a starter plug. And this last one, from the picture, I thought this was gonna be a lot bigger. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This one was $25 and this is a ficus shivriana starter plant. I don't know. I think I kind of bought this one based off the picture. It's okay. I've always wanted a ficus on. I keep seeing them and I love the variegation on them. This one is definitely a lot smaller than what I was expecting, but that's okay. So that's what that one looks like. That leaf down here is really pretty. And that's the plug there. Yeah, so this one is a ficus, so they're finicky. I'm gonna go ahead and pot these real quick and so that way I can just get them watered and put in light. This one I'll put like near my window over here, just because it's really bright and ficus love light. Um, and the other two, I will pop up and put, I'll just, I'm gonna leave them all in my plant room. I honestly was thinking this was gonna be the size that most of them were, like this one here. This kind of was what I was expecting, but that's okay. You know, I may have just not paid attention to what I was ordering. I kind of just ordered on spur of the moment. It's cute, definitely. These are definitely tiny, you guys. Like this is my hand. So pictures sometimes can be very misleading. It is a very, very tiny plug, very tiny. But I'm excited for him, that cheered me up. Yeah, this was only gonna be a quick unboxing, but I do wanna take care of these real quick. Okay, I'm back. This will be really quick. So this is actually a three inch. This is a white pot that I normally, use and these ones I, I always like reuse and wash out all of my nursery pots i i want to say these are probably probably smaller than a three inch but i feel like these will be perfect since they're little plugs so i'm going to do this one in here and the other two in these my mix i recently shared in my last video but um, for these plants, since they're plugs, I'm gonna try not to pick as much of the chunkiness out. It's right here. Ooh. 
It's very like aerated. This is gonna be like my mix from now on. I added, I got some chunkier charcoal pieces and orchid bark and um, pumice. So I added all that in here. So there's lots of different ingredients. Fox Farm is the soil base. Okay, we have a little bit of soil in each one. We are going to undo this. You can see the root system on that one. It's very tiny. So we're gonna stick that right down in here and fill up. I'm not gonna fertilize these right away because they're just, they're such tiny plants. And Fox Farm has a lot of nutrients in their potting soil. So once these grow a little bit, then I will fertilize. Yeah, super quick and easy. That one is already done. We'll do, let's do this one next. I, I wanna order more now from this shop because I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it's such a good deal to get these plants for that price. If you guys hear banging, my husband is in the garage. I think he has some kind of golf screen thing that he's putting up. I know they gave you like their soil recommendation, but it's fine. I'm using, I'm trying not to use the chunky bits as much of it. Cause I made this mix really chunky this time. And that's the thing with soil mixes too. I mean, you just have to use what you like and what works for you. I mean, look at that soil. That is just goodness right there. Very aerated, very chunky and I love it. That one is adorable. This one's my favorite. And then we will do the Shabriana. I hope this little plug does okay. I really wanted a bigger, bigger one of this one. Yeah, this one has a little mesh around it, which is fine. It said not to remove that, so. I'm not gonna remove it right now, maybe eventually. I seriously love baby plants, you guys. I'm obsessed. There, they are all potted. That was so easy. You can see them all. So all I wanna do is give them a water in and that's it. I'll have to take a peeky, a little look-see on their website again. So if you order anything, be prepared. It could take a couple weeks. Just a warning. If you are wanting an order faster, then this may not be the shop, which is fine. Like, I, like I'm patient. And again, they were only in the mail for two days. There, we are watered, we are potted up, and I'm very happy, very, very happy. So yes, I recommend, I feel like these will all do well. I'm gonna make room for them over here, like by my window area, cause it gets pretty bright light. They won't get any like direct sun being like a foot back, they'll be fine. I feel like their leaves are pretty delicate. I don't really want to mess with them. I don't see like any pests or anything. So I think we'll be fine. I just wanna like not mess with them too much and just kind of let them acclimate. This cheered me up now. These honestly, they look so cute. I'm obsessed you guys. I am literally obsessed with them. Uh, I love these. It's gonna be so fun watching these kind of settle in. 
My plants used to be this size. They used to be this size. And then they've gotten so big. I just like, I just, I don't know. I love that they've gotten big, but part of me like wants to shrink them back down so I can watch them grow again, if that's weird. No. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and for being here. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Just thank you for watching my videos and supporting and commenting. And I just always want to be honest with you guys. And I never want to promote or use something that I truly just don't like anymore. And that's okay. There's just a lot of stuff out there and it's okay to have opinions. And if something doesn't work, that's totally fine. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I'll definitely keep you updated on these and I'll talk to you later. Bye.